so as you know that we can now shoot okay so the next thing which is missing is the crosshair and also we can't aim for example if you play the game let me show you that we can't aim we can only fire okay so we don't want that we want the player to fire I mean to aim for that we will make a script but first of all let's add crosshair so right here in the sprites as you can see we have these two crosshairs so let's create a UI canvas let's name this as third person canvas okay and let's create another canvas let's name this as for example aim canvas okay you can name this whatever you want now in the third person canvas let's create a UI image okay this will be in the middle center and this is the third person so in the third person we want the crosshair to be bigger like that click on set native size and as you can see it now looks good okay after that let's go inside the aim canvas inside the aim canvas let's add a image and inside this image let's add our crosshair and let's click on this set native size okay so when we are in the third person view we want this bigger canvas to be shown and when we are not we want the aim canvas to be shown okay and also we want to switch between the cameras so it shows that effect that we are aiming for that in the scripts let's create a new c-sharp script by the name of switch camera click on the player body and then Tommy gun mesh apply the script open up the script and now in here first of all we need to add a header and inside this header we will say camera to assign okay first of all we need a reference to our aim camera so we will say public game object let's name this as aim cam then let's create another public game object let's name this as aim canvas this will be a reference to our aim canvas which we created and then we need a reference to our third person camera so we will say public game object let's name this as third person cam after this we need a reference to our third person canvas so we will say third person canvas that's it right here we will add our update function and inside this update we will say that if input dot get button okay so it means that if we press the fire 2 button which is the mouse right button on that button we want to aim and right here we will also say that if we are walking and aiming then we want to play some different animation so that is for that but for now let's just leave it okay just type this code which I am typing right here if we are firing and moving okay we can also move on the arrow keys as well so we will add a reference to that as well so key code dot up arrow now in here we will say that if we are aiming and moving forward then we want the third person camera to be deactivated okay because we are aiming so we will set its active to false and also we want the third person canvas to be deactivated as well so set it to false and yes now we want the aim camera actually to be activated so we will set its 
active to true and after this we want the end canvas to set active to true okay after this if we are just aiming so we will say else if let's copy that code paste it down below it means that if we are just aiming then what we want to do we want to do the same thing as we are doing up there so just simply copy and paste it down below and after this let's add a else block and in the else it means that if we are not aiming then it means that we are not aiming okay so we will set this third person camera to true and the canvas as well and we will set these two to false that's it let us simply save this get back to unity now we need to assign these things okay so first of all we need to assign the third person camera then the third person canvas and also the aim cinema machine and the aim canvas that's it save the game let's play the game now and you will notice that as you can see our aim cinema machine and aim canvas is deactivated by default we are now in the third person view now if we press the fire 2 button as you can see now we are aiming as you can see and now we are not aiming and we want this movement to be a little bit faster so if we click on our camera as you can see right here we have this default blend right here let's change this to 0.01 and now our blend will be faster you will notice it as you can see it is a lot more faster as you can see so now we can aim as well okay our aiming now works and with this done catch you guys in the next one